channel, so my name is Chris from Chris's Creations, and today I'll be basically showing you how to replace the wheels on a vehicle. Now it should be the same process for uh, every vehicle, but it might be different, but this should be just a general thing you should be able to do. So I'll be using a Chevy Impala, um, in specific Terry Sloan's edit uh, of uh, Officer Underwood's Impala. Now the wheels I'm going to be using are going to be some wheels I converted from GTA 4. Now I don't want to sound like that guy, but if you want them, they're available in my Discord. And there's, I really cannot be bothered to put them into a Google Drive link, as it's probably going to take 17 years to upload. Anyhow, uh, once you got you know the vehicle, I'm not going to do any of this optional stuff as I'm not exporting it and whatnot. But once you got your vehicle, you know, in our case, our lovely Impala, I do indeed love my Impalas. Once you got this, we go up here, you know, of course, to merge, and then you're just basically going to find the wheels. Now, in my case, it's this file right here, and I think it's going to be 30 different things, and then I select the file and make you ready. Ah, I forgot to do one thing, so don't do that yet. What you're going to want to do is go into the hierarchy, open it, and find the wheel LF. So this one right here. Basically, the wheel LF, the only reason why this one is LOD'd and these ones aren't, is because all the other wheels copy what's from this wheel. So whatever this wheel is, it could be a can, a can of coke. Uh, you could have switched this wheel to. These wheels will copy that can of coke and all the wheels will be a can of coke. So, you know, you turn it off on, it probably it has LEDs, whatnot. Just put something at the end of it where, you know, if you were to merge something that had the same name, it wouldn't merge it. So you would put one there and you would put one there. And now if your wheel had all of these, you would put, you know, add F and then 1, 2, and then G or something, maybe like that. But I recommend you keep these for now. Now, I know for a fact the wheel I'm importing does not have any of the wheel meshes. So, but once again, you go here, maybe ready, merge, and then as you can see right here, just the wheel off and the wheel collision. Press merge. And as you can see, the collision shows up for some reason because I forgot to do the collision have to actually make it a collision, but that will be rectified. Basically, if it's LOD, you just do that, you just get it back. Now I'm going to turn the wheel and that off. I'm going to unlink this from there, and once you got that, let me switch this back to the left. You can basically just select it, oh, just select it. So once it's selected like that, I would recommend press hiding all, selecting back these two, go back to your hierarchy, opening it. And then selecting the wheel LF. So the wheel LF is the original wheel, and that's what you'll be basing the size, width, height, and whatnot off of. So, and now you're basically just gonna line it all up. So, in my case, I need to make it a little bit uh, wider on this. Just make it a tad wider. And we're gonna move it like that. So, now it's about fine. And then now we need to make it a tad taller. Just make it a tad taller. Move it up back like that. And there we go, it fits like this. Now it needs to fit on the front angle. So, basically just the same thing, just use the y-axis and just continue to uh, scale it till you get it to your sizable needs. Bring it up that. A little bit more. Oh yeah, the wheels are also available in McKinley's Customs and Discord. And if you're in Nix's chop shop, they're available in those three discords on my own, and McKinley's Customs, and Nix's chop shop. Anyhow, once you got it all lined up and whatnot, you can turn off the original wheel, and then you can just delete it. You don't need it anymore. Uh, in your case, this will probably already be a collision, but in my case it isn't, because I forgot to. So just go ahead and make it a collision. Move it back in. And then you can move it back right under wheel left right and then boom there you go you got a fixed wheel and now i assure you this should work in game if it does the weird thing where instead of you know going like this it goes like this uh what you have to do is basically just uh you know unselect everything make sure you just have the wheel go up to display press center the local ac axis and just press it it may just be the local axis so you know it may because it may be that just the wheels are for some reason in the center of the vehicle and that's you know how they're spinning.
basically all you have to do is just press on it and to where it now it will now rotate around its own axis, uh, the axis in the middle of the wheel. So I hope this uh, this uh, helped you. And if you have any questions, just put them somewhere I can read them. I guess. Well, have a good one.